It's time for bees! New world! Wrong world, but that's okay. Let's be a green boy. Hair color, overall, oh. Skin color. <laughs> oh, baby. Let's do it. All right, what is your name? Dr. Bees! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hair color. There we go. <laughs> oh, we're off to a good start with this one, aren't we? Oh, that is what I was looking for. I love it when games do this sort of thing. <laughs> Just let you be a monochrome weirdo. Dear Dr. Bees, it was so lovely to get your letter last week. I think it's wonderful that you're taking an interest in beekeeping again. Both me and Gramps have always hoped you'd want to carry on the... Keeper family tradition, and there isn't anything more enjoyable than being out there with the bees. Plus, I'll say it, uh, I'll, I'll say it'll be a well-earned break from that busy city job of yours. I've posted you a ticket for the next boat that comes in. Skipper will be overjoyed to see you again after all these years. Have a safe journey, and I'll see you again soon. Love, Nana. <laughs> oh, we made it, Dr. Bees, and just as you're getting your sea legs, ho oh, ho, here we are, Port Hapico, and what a lovely day it is. Lovely day it is. Uh, it was a jolly. It was jolly good to have you aboard again, matey. Takes me back. Do you still remember the way your way around this place? Oh, no problem. Here, have my map. I know this place like the back of my boat. Anyway, you best go see the old girl. She's just at the end of the pier and down to the left. She's been uh, she's been a buzzing ever since you let her. If you need anything, just haul her. I've got a few trinkets you might find useful. Now off you go. Luck of the hive mother be with you. And remember, a smooth sea never made a uh, skilled sailor. Ho ho. <laughs> I <laughs> I'm just a <laughs> I'm just a walking sentient bush. Oh, Dr. Bees, it's so wonderful to see you. Let me get a good look at you. Have you been eating properly? Who's been feeding you? Have you had breakfast? Shall I put the kettle on? How was the boat over? Did you feel sick or sorry? There's me getting carried away. It was just so good to see you again. I was so excited when I got your letter. I know the game's light. I'll turn it down in a bit. When you said you wanted to get to, into beekeeping, I was so pleased. It's been a while since we've had a keeper in the family. Your father never cared much for it. I was looking through Grandpa's old things and found the guidebook he was writing. There seems to be quite a lot missing, so maybe you can fill in the rest. It would mean a lot to us both. You can view the guide at any time with G if you ever get stuck. Just have a look through it, and I'm sure some of Grandpa's wisdom will guide the way. Well, anyway, look at me. I'd steer... Uh, I'd talk the ear off of B. I'd better let you get settled. You probably want to go and explore the island. If you need anything, I'll be back at the house. Be safe. All right, first enough. I need a fan. I am cooking. Holy shit, it is warm in my office. Second, I love the fact that B-Sync instead of V-Sync, that's an amazing choice. And we're going to, like, turn this down. There we go. What about accessibility options? Mechanisms move automatically. Walk through trees. I'm turning that shit on. Always expand tooltips. Hybrid offspring always mutate. I'm just going to turn that on. I don't know what that's going to do, but I like it all the same. All right, there we go. Uh, so what else do we have? Dresser. Uh, so I can change my visuals. Why would I ever do that? Bookshelf. Stepped walked. Cool. Cool. Lantern. Hold shift for in info and then <laughs> oh sleeping in this game is amazing all right got those do we have anything useful maybe the beekonomist apis communia beekeeping legend belia keeper brings common bees back to apico islands apiers all over excited for her return and the future of apiculture issue two renowned beekeeper belia keepers Add it again. Forest bee is at an all-time high. Pa, that's nothing, grumbled Benjamin, a local Grumson beekeeping star. And bee economist uh, issue three. Third time's the charm. Belia Keeper single-handedly restores the verge bee population. The apicary ain't got nothing on our Belia, exclaimed Skipper, resident scallywag. All right, can I take the rest of these myself, maybe? Can I check, like, my inventory? No. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. I can. Whoops, wrong one. My inventory is up here. I'm just going to take all of this junk and we'll just see if any of this is even remotely close to useful. Ah, shift click to bring it over. All right, so I've unlocked some new recipes by existing, I guess. What can I do with this? So we can make a saw bench. 
a tree tap. That stuff. But I need her tools. Uh, so maybe we actually do need the saw bench, but I can't do anything with that at the moment. So now what are we doing? Oh, claim a reward. I have got a bee. I've got that. Gathering resources. So go hit trees and junk. Well, when in doubt. There we go. Holy smokes, I chop fast. We're not beekeepers, we're turbo lumberjacks. We just turned to beekeeping because if we didn't busy ourselves, there'd be no trees left. Inventory Z. Oh, you're right, you're right. I'm going to just hack a number of these down. I should hopefully be able to replant them. It looks like I can. There will be nothing left. This is a really pleasant game. I wish the music was a little bit more consistent just because it sounded great, but now it's quiet and gone. Termite bush humanoid. <laughs> I, I don't know, I love when you can do stuff like this, especially because, like, I'll blend together, so I, I literally do just look like a weird blob man. It's kind of amazing. So it looks like the island itself is pretty sparse. Not too much going on. Can I check? Never mind, there's a lot going on. Well, let's go talk to some people, I guess. Oh, hey, Dr. Bees, how are you today? Shop. What can we buy? Uh, we could buy stuff, but I don't know how much I care. Squeezer. But I have to discover at least six bees. The rest of this doesn't matter. And I don't think I can rob her. That is a big map. Okay, so let's... Huh. Oh, my axe broke. Well, hopefully I have enough resources that I can make another one. Uh, let's see. So starting with one of these. Put that in. Oh. Oh. It's a mini game? Okay. This makes sense, but is wonky. Okay, let's take that back. So what if I put wood planks back in? Because I think I need dowels. Yep, here we go. Eh. Eh. Wonder do you have any advice for a new streamer? Best to ask me on Discord, frankly. Uh, just questions like that work better there, and even then, I don't know. Any any bit of advice I could ever give, I would... I would say you can probably just learn by looking things up. I've been doing this for eight years, and so half of the information that I know is probably not even relevant anymore. But my biggest piece of advice is always start a YouTube channel. Sounds weird, but the YouTube channel is far more valuable than streaming. Anyway, back to beekeeping, or really just carpentry. I actually really like this, the fact that I have to do kind of a manual thing. I am thinking of all of the different uh, games that I've played over the years, and how kind of awkward it was just watching the meter fill out as you craft stuff. And so, actually having to be slightly involved in the process is equal parts neat, but a little bit slow. I almost kind of wish that you had like a, a woodworking skill that would level up slowly as you played. Okay, so we've got crates, we got benches, we got a trash can, we got a magazine rack. But this is the more important thing. Now, I don't have much for stone, so I don't think I can do more with this. So let's make a pickaxe, make a regular axe. And go back to extreme lumberjacking. Put these places. Because what is this? Skipper's map. Old Schiffer info. Map to open. And then Grandpa's guide. I'm just going to leave them down there. There's an automated version later. I love hearing those words. There we go. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. I mean, the real answer is just incremental gameplay is... Fun? Can I destroy the Sir Sengir statue? Looks like if maybe, maybe if I had a uh, hammer, I could get rid of it. Oh, I need a stronger pickaxe for those rocks. Do we have less strong rocks? We do. There we go. Boy, the music is just kind of non-existent, isn't it? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna turn it off. We'll listen to our own. 
I'm sure it's lovely, but if it's not going to be playing all the time, then I kind of would rather just listen to my own music instead. All right, let's see what we got up here. Okay. There we go. I need more rock. Oh. oh, right, but I can just walk through trees. Nothing can stop me. Oh, wait. No. I had an exclamation mark. I'm like, well, maybe I can swim. Beehive. Bees? Blessed bee. What? Purebred blessed. I guess I'm just going to kidnap that bee. It's mine now. Oh, we also have like a tiny little house over here. Well, do we have any blessed bees? We have another blessed bee. Purebred. None of these are blessed, though. What if we can mix and match forest bees and, and not? And it looks like we have this. Preview slot. Item in this slot will be shown above the crate when hovered. Ah, makes sense. Oh. Here we go. We've got a couple more rocks at the very least. And that's the queen. I wonder if I can yoink the queens. But I don't think that's going to be the kind of thing that I go out of my way way to do normally. Okay, any more blessed bees? Common bee, common bee. Okay, is there a difference between light trees and dark trees? Honeydew tree, honeydew tree. Nope, they're all just honeydew. I should probably go tap one of these. Do you want this, this kind of outer house to be my base? Maybe, yeah. Let's do that. I'll just kind of live out here. Leave the other place to kind of its own. Let's see, is that a water beehive? Yes, as far as I can tell, there seems to be aquatic bees. I don't think this game really follows any kind of logic for... There we go. Uh, I don't think it follows any kind of logic for, like, regular bee types. I guess I would say. Let's see. Open the map and confirm something real quick. Hopefully that was enough. I don't know. I Do we not have any more rocks? I see birds. I guess I can go take a look at the water bees. Oh, they're called verges. Hmm. Oh, there's, there's a little bit. There you go. That should be just enough. Let's go make a uh, proper pickaxe. So I can do a bunch of mining. Because I think I'm going to just evict every single rock from the, uh... From the environment. Okay. Oh, I need dowels. Shoes. No, that's a bench. Make another one of these. Or... Did I? Yeah, I did. Here's the other thing I should maybe look into. It's floorboards. I actually have quite a lot. What? What are these floors? Oh, they're wood edging. Uh I can't I can't do anything with this at the moment. Um Nope. Oh, those are sawdust sawdust bricks. Well, can't do anything with that. All right. Oh, you really cannot do this quickly, can you? Hey, thank you, Stumped Friends, uh, for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. I'm checking out Apico for the first time. It is a ultra wholesome and very chill beekeeping sandbox thing. I'm pretty sure Ash was playing this just the other day. I don't know if he was streaming it or not. Let's see. Should have enough to make the hammer. There we go. I don't know if I need the lantern. I don't... Oh, no, it is dusk. So we do actually have to worry about it getting dark around here. Yeah, somebody wrecked my house that I just purloined from... Well, no one, I guess. No one lives here, so this is this place is mine. 
Oh, that didn't work. How do I pick this thing up? Move button? Oh no, that's that's how we move that. Move target help. How do I pick it up? Oh, I see. That's how I pick it up. Get those floors down. I'm gonna move the sawhorse out. I'm probably gonna have to make a much bigger house along the way. But at least for now, this is fine. I'm gonna store these weirdo spare bees. And it looks like it can get rid of those. Wood edging. I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything with those. Sort button. I do have a lot of acorns. I should maybe get a couple of them kind of down. Though it looks like a number of these actually just grow on their own. Beekeeper's Delight. Seedling. Interesting. Right. First and foremost, though, gonna make a rock pickaxe. Because I need more rock. I don't actually know if I need more rocks. But I figure if there's no rocks left... What? I've discovered a rock bee? Learn more. Rocky bee. Special produce stone. Wait, what? These create stone. What? Oh, okay. Apis petra, rocky bee. Apis petra secretes a highly acidic saliva, which it uses to mulch out great warrens through bedrock. Curiously, however, they leave manufactured stone untouched, a relief to the homeowners of the archipelago. Small rocks are formed while the hive is working, can be used in crafting. What? So I just can get spare resources from these guys. Queen has finished their cycle. Forest bees. Queen button. Well, I should probably take a look at some of these. Claim that. Resource management. Claim that. I've more or less figured out half of these things just playing on my own, which is fine. Carpentry 101. Done that. Basic tools. Missing that. And missing those. Menu magic. Well, figured that out. Organized controls. Cool. Have done that. I am a wizard at skipping tutorials, apparently. Oh, sleeping in bed changes your spawn point. R will respawn you back at the last bed you slept in. That's useful. Okay, so I still have to find a forest bee and a verge bee. And then we also need a bunch of flowers. Well, yoink. I'm just going to move these here. I don't know how we get more of these. Okay, rocky bee, glowing bee, common bee. So it creates bee pollen. And the species is saved. Okay. Uh, discovering species. You might know new species can be discovered by crossbreeding different species. Hybrid queens have a chance to produce hybrid offspring, which have a chance to mutate into an entirely new species. Oh, it even has pundit squares. I like that. Traits, lifespan, pr productivity, fertility, and then stability, behavior, climate, rain lover, snow lover, and aggressive. And then we also have the rocky bee, which we've just grabbed, who are also considered a lost species. Well, this is neat. Did I read that there's 35 different types of bees? Apparently so. Uh, I should probably grab this, but I don't know what to drop. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna grab it, and I guess I'll just go put this bench down. Is it just a bench? Bench for sitting? Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, got another one of these, so I'm gonna put the crate down if I can't. Uh. I wonder if. The, oh, you can hold shift to guarantee grid grid placement. Okay, and I'm gonna turn the music back on. There we go. It'll play when it plays. Maybe there's some way I can increase the uh, frequency of the music, but I don't think so. Which is a shame. Okay. So, how do we... How do we create a queen? Rocky B... Oh, we have a Rocky Queen. What is this? Why is there... Why was there that? Unless there was something special in that one. I have no idea. How do I even build a beehive? 
How do I do anything of any use here? So we have a predictor. Pure flooring, stone edging, wood walls, brass walls, flower pots, and a bunch of other goodies. Okay, we also have the scraper and the brush. The tap. Single use, oh, that's how I got the, um, the exclamation mark was because the tap was done. Of course, I'm paying attention. Resin tank. So I guess we need to replant some of these. Really get get some more taps down because it looks like I might have destroyed the last one that I had. Okay, and I might as well just start processing a bunch of these. Okay, maybe in retrospect I actually have too much of this stuff. Take that back. There we go. Seems like trying to breed Chocobo in Final Fantasy 7. I have not done that. I, I've played Final Fantasy 7 R, but I think I might actually go back and replay 7 at some point. Just to get what the original story was supposed to be. I've been replaying every single Final Fantasy in order and I've been really trying to decide if I want to play 7 again. Because I know it's different, but is it different enough? I think it's because this is taking precedence. Ah, uh, let's see. Sticky Pearl. Produced by forest bees can be sold for rupees. Does it actually say what it's useful for? Beekeeping. Tools. Resource. Okay, that's actually rather helpful. I'm going to put the lantern away. I don't think I need it. Ah, uh, let's see. Anything else? We have got a couple of these, but I mostly want to have an easier inventory. Yeah. Three and seven are the kind of ones I love. Haven't played any others. Five and si uh, five and six are amazing. Like, actually just as good as seven from what I've played. Okay. I guess I might as well make some wood wall. Oh, that's what half the this is for. Okay, so we can also finish this, which gives us a better hammer. Uh, oh, and we have to have the tools in inventory for it to count. So finding bees. So still got to find one of those. And then flower power. So we got to go get five beekeepers lights, five swarm wart, and three more honey rows. So I guess let's kind of start with some of those things. I guess I'm going to finish my house out. Oh, and you know what? Back to tools for a hot second. I think we need a spade. And I'm gonna just grab this. Oh, I see. It actually pulled it from the container. And counted it. Cool. 50 rock. Well, that helps. I see. I really like Final Fantasy VII's remake. But it's not the same experience at all. Really liked what they're doing with the story, the divergence and all. Me too. I'm super excited to see where it goes, just from the perspective of... Uh, you know what? If you're going to remake a game, you might as well just go off the walls with it. And, like, I dare not spoil it, because I know some people might, might not have seen... Let's see. Quick queen button. Oh. Oh, I see. You combine two to make a queen. And get more. Oh, that's how that works. I was curious. And now I know. I'm trying to think of other games that are getting massive remake... Remakes in that exact same manner, and there are very few. Okay, so there's our flower power. Whoops. Alright, claim that. And we get the... Abby's folio. Okay, finding bees. So I gotta go back and find a water bee. And I'll start messing with hybrids just to see what happens. Okay. So what is this? F to open. Okay, so we now have cross-pollination. Cross-breeding flowers is easy. Your bees do all the hard work for you. 
When a bee visits a flower, it collects some pollen, seeds, and all sorts of other goop, and takes it back to the hive. When Using frames in your apiaries, this goop collects in the frames and gets all mixed together. Based on the flowers your bees visit, you get different seeds when you extract your frames. If you're lucky, the different seeds can mix, giving you new, spe new species hybrid seeds. So we have Honey Rose. It is known to call the falling species Murky Bee. And also combine them together to get Bee's Knees and Goldenrod. Uh, let's see, Swarm Root calms these two. And murky bees. So it looks like murky bees get kind of hella pissed at things, I guess. My inventory is still full. Uh, you know what? Can I can I just s slap these on? Yes, I can. I'll have to remember that they're there this time. So next order of business, we have a bunch of. I have a bunch of these. I don't actually know if I need the books anymore. Why did you make your character a goblin? I am a living shrub. Not a goblin. Okay, finding bees. Done. We get a beehive. Beekeeping 101. Now that you have some bees in beehive, you can start breeding bees. To breed bees, place two bees in the left-hand output of the hive to create a queen. The queen will then get to work and start producing honeycomb. At the end of her lifespan, she'll produce cute little offspring. All bees produced in natural beehives will be direct clones of the queen. Time to make an army of Beatrices. Fair. Well, let's start with the stone bees, just because. And then we'll start messing around with breeding later. Namely, because I think I'm going to need more? Maybe. It looks like I can just grab the honeycomb, which I guess I need. Uh, let's just do another one of those. And E, B, okay. I'm going to just put the rock queen in there. And I think they just work. Next produce in 90 seconds. I, oh, I see the bees are sleeping. Whereas these are not. Interesting. Well, I guess it's nighttime, so who knows. Uh, so what have we what have we unlocked recipe-wise? We now have the uncapping bench, wooden frame, rehabilitator, re, rehabili, rehabil, there we go, I can word, and a basic apiary, but I need more honey. Alright, so I think it's time to start raiding all of the nearby hives, and we'll see what I can do. Now yeah, I'm just going to probably convert a number of these just back into being regular queens. Oh, do we have a blessed bee? We have a blessed bee. I like all the bee puns here. They're kind of glorious. Convert the rest, move this over. I'm assuming the more bees that I have in those, the uh, more productive they become. Okay, what about you, sh you schmucks? It's more of this. Let them go. They will queen up. This one's going. Next produce in eight seconds. I'll have to figure out what to do with that. I think, uh, I actually have no idea how to get resources from these. But I guess it's fine. Okay, beekeeping 101, I need 10 of those. Tapping trees. So that'll get us the wooden canister. To get resin from a tree, you need to craft a tree tap. You can use a tree tap by equipping it and clicking on a tree with left click. Alright. Rains of pores. Oh, so we should probably do that. So, canister is using waterproof, which you can make from lily pads and grow in the shallows. Canisters are portable, but only hold small amounts of liquids. Barrels can't be moved, but hold much larger quantities. So you need a barrel and a canister, which I've already made one of. There is a lot of layers to this. Let's try the shovel. Let's just grab a number. Instant queen, grab some more honey. 
Hopefully they start collecting some resources for me, but I think I need to build an actual apiary as opposed to just a beehive. Okay, now do we have lily pad seeds? Or do they just kind of hang out there? I don't entirely know. Uh, let's see. Okay, next up, barrel, inventory, space, uh, panic. I think panic is... Oh, shoot. I think panic is very much the correct course of action here. There's just a lot going on and I am out of my depth. Not necessarily that badly, but... There we go. What else do we have? You know what? Is there a way I can trash things? No, but I might be able to sell it. Maybe? I don't know. Or I'll just leave it there just in case something terrible happens. So we do have the canister. Uh, let's go back to this. Because I'd like to make two of these. Plus a frame. If I can. Uh... There we go. This is going to take a while. You can trash things, you just need a trash can. Oh, right, of course. I completely forgot about that. Alright. I wonder how long I have to wait before I can get the automated version of this. And you cannot go backwards, so you have to just go left and right constantly. Well, I appreciate it, but it is very slow. Then again, I guess I don't, I don't need quite this much, is the real answer. There we go, let's just get a ton of sticks. And we'll, nope, there we go. There's an option to make them auto. And a, uh, probably an accessibility option. I mean, I, I know you can also get uh, automatic ones later. And so I'm, I'm trying to weigh how much... Uh, I find this compelling and how much I want to just immediately automate it. Hmm. Okay, let's grab this last set and then I'll just make do. What is this? B box. Yeah, what are the differences? I I guess I should make one. Large crate. Because we have the apiary, use to breed bees and fill frames. Bees and apiaries can be crossbred. Bee box, un unlimited amount of a single bee species. Oh, that's really helpful. Rehabiliator, release bees back in the wild, adding to their conservation status. Predict the potential offspring of a queen. Uncap filled frames for use in an extractor. But I think we need to actually find an extractor. Treated frame. Extractor. Extractor needs glue. Which might actually be made here. That's waterproofing. This is glue. Glue requires pro propolis. Beekeeping. Sticky propolis used in crafting beekeeping items. I... Alright. I'm gonna just... Plop the bee box here. And... Gonna put this here. Okay, so we need several frames and a queen. So what do I need for a frame? Frame requires just more honey. that there. Go back to this one. Can I do shift click? Oh, tree is... This tree is fully drained. You're not. There we go. And yeah, the music on this is great. I just wish it would uh, play a little bit more often. Okay, let's just let that fill out. 
more of this. More of you. At some point, I'd very much like to uh, actually start getting resources from these somehow. Now, if the tree is fully drained... I wonder if I can remove it. Or do I just leave it there? I don't... I don't actually know yet. I won't know for a bit. Hmm... It's usually the sign of a good dev. Music is great, but they don't play too much of it. See, I need the music to be all or nothing. Uh, when it's only... When it's super infrequent Minecraft style, I usually kind of lose focus and I, I need music going on. Okay, drain trees do not refill and you can't reclaim taps. So I guess I just have to cut down the tree whenever they're emptied. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, so next order of business. So I need a barrel. Barrel, barrel. I guess I should figure out what I need for the uh, for a barrel. That's a trash can. That's a rain tank. Oh, I can just make it. Okay, keep it flowing. We get another cold infusion and rains and pours. So what does this do? Up to your ears and resin, so it's time to put it all to good use. By infusing your wood with resin, you can make it stronger and more versatile, meaning you can make more improved items. Okay, but we need an infuser. Boy. Well, here's the infuser, but I gotta go get some more lily pads. How do I grow more lily pads? I haven't seen any lily pad seeds go by. I can put them back down, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. So how do I make... Uh, seeds when you can extract from apiaries? Yeah, probably. I'll have to figure this out. I just know I'm gonna need seeds for a couple of things fairly quick. Otherwise, I'm gonna start running out of certain resources. That'd be stinky. Oh, okay, never mind. That's a lot of glue. So we need propolis. I haven't figured that one out. I haven't figured that one out either. Okay, we're gonna take a look at this. So now I can make two of those. And then... We have two common blessed bees. I'm gonna just... Put them together. We're just gonna have a line of blessed queens here. I don't know what blessed does. But I'm hoping it's good. Okay, uncapping bench. I need even more of this. Well, time to go find some full hives and yoink the honey. Okay. There we go. Oh, not perfect, but it's fine. And I'm stuck on rock. I can move through trees smoothly. But rocks? Rocks are another story. Alright, there we go. Beekeeping 101 is done. I'm not sure if I deserve that, but I'll take it. Okay, and we have another blessed bee. What was that? Okay, beekeeping 101. Ah, ten of them. Okay, all bees producing natural beehives will be direct clones of the queen. Time to make an army of Beatrices, so we gotta get infused wood things. Pimp my hive. So, all I need is a wooden frame. Do I already have an apiary, or I guess it just counts the one that I already have. Alright. Is this a second forest bee? That's purebred? I, I guess. Make a bunch more of these. My inventory is now full. Okay. So I'm going to start swapping these out, I guess. And then I'm going to panic because my inventory is full again and I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. 
Uh, let's see, we've got a couple of wooden canisters. We also have a lot of seeds, so let's dump those for a second. Put the water collector outside. And then a pair of barrels on the side as well. There we go. Figure that out. I should probably go make a bunch of taps. But that'll be later. Does the bee drone and queen have stats? Yes, they do. So she, for example, has a five and whatever that stat is. Plus maybe a bonus, plus there's a sun. I, I don't understand any of those things yet. So we're just going to... Well, we're not going to ignore them, but... Okay. I guess my best order of business is to go back to chopping things down. This music is very strange. Let's skip it. There we go, that's better. If you open the bee book, the yellow icon, or the yellow icon on the bottom explains it. Wait, what? Verdant bee, vibrant bee, and dream bee. Ooh, that sounds fun. Oh, here we go. Lifespan normal, productivity slow. I see, this is daytime. That's water lover. And then there's the stats. It traits part one and two have the symbols. Yeah, there we go. So lifespan, productivity, and fertility. And then those are the other ones. So lifespan, productivity, fertility, and then the, uh, fertility, and then there's also stability. The lower the number, the more chance of mutation can occur in hybrid out offspring. Interesting. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna clear this side area out, so it's not just kind of loose, unincorporated forest anymore. We're gonna switch it over to tap land and try and make the most of it. Absolutely in love, in love with this game. It's got merits. It's very undemanding. It's very chill. It looks lovely. And the whole B resource automation thing works perfectly. Uh, I'm going to need some other stuff. Okay. Another one of those. Could make some of those, but no. Let's uh let's just keep chopping away, clearing the yard on the right side here. Just have that be tap land so we can actually get a reasonable amount of resources. I guess that's the other thing I should do. Is put some uh make some more taps. M maybe. Now you just need Terra Nil to come out and you'll be on Cloud9. Oh, I can't wait for that game. There are very few games I look forward to, but Terra Nil ranks very high. Okay, uh, let's see. So I've got some acorns. Oops, uh, here. I should hold shift for this. Or, I see. Gotta use the shovel for this. Yeah, so you don't have to be on the grid. But I don't know about you, I have to be on the grid. It just feels wrong to me to not be on the grid. Praise the grid. There we go. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait a little bit before I actually put taps on those. So what is this game? Apico. It is a apiary sandbox. Uh, sandbox sim? I don't know. Effectively, Stardew Valley except for bees. There's more to it than that, but the bees really are the star of the show. Okay, grab that. Oh, they're no longer blessed. So apparently, blessed is not a trait that I get to keep. 
and start breeding forth. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. Pimp my hive. Okay, so Belia's Almanac, but we already have that, don't we? I'm curious about that. What's in the box? Bee boxes can be used to store an unlimited amount of single species, neatly sorted based on the traits. Crossbreeding. So, now you have an apiary. You'll be able to start crossbreeding. When you create a queen in an apiary, it'll inherit a selection of traits from both bees and can be become a hybrid. Craft a predictor to help predict offspring traits. Okay, so I need a verdant bee. And we also have uncapping frames. So I need 10 propolis. Well, I think I can make this now. That's the infuser. And we want the uncapping bench. Perfect. Okay. Close it up. Dang it. Too much UI. But that's okay. Alright, so this just gets us... Tons of propolis. Well, I did say I needed it. Oh, I see. I probably have to just keep clearing it out. Now, these frames are uncapped. Wooden frames. But they still have stuff in them? Maybe? Okay, uncapping fr frames. Extracting honey. When a frame is spun completely, you'll get a whole bunch of items based on the species of the bee as well as honey. Finally, right? Okay. So I need to get an extractor and remove honey. Is this the extractor? It is, but I have to figure out how to make glue. Glue requires propolis. I don't think I have enough. I have five. That's rough. Get that going. And are the rock bees moving? Looks like they are, finally. Okay, I guess let's go back to this one. Oh, I have more propolis that I haven't retrieved yet. Not quite enough, I don't think. Yeah, I need like maybe a handful more. Let's see. Oh, that's going to take a while. Do I make some more bees? Or, no. Let's go out here. Let's expand my house. Because I'm going to need more space to build half of this stuff anyway. I'm just going to kind of extend in this, ge in this general direction, at least for a little bit. I might as well just have a large working space instead of this tiny cramped house with very little to little to do, little room to exp expand. Very little room to work with. I'm a little loopy. It's it's tired. I am late. You heard me. Okay. Grab those. Should have some floorboards. Perfect. Now, I feel, if I fill those out... Awkward. Works, I guess. Okay. Pick up the bed. We're just going to stick it over here. That's better. Probably could use just a smidge more of this. There we go, just to, just to fill this whole business in. Make it look dandy-ish. Okay, rest of this, everything is good. Close out. Floor, and please tell me you're done. No, you're not. Oh, because they're asleep. Of course they're asleep, it's the middle of the night. 
Looks like the stone bees are going. I am going to have to move them to a completely different hive then. Okay, right. Other thing I should make. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to make a bunch of these. It looks like I'm going to need a lot more wood. I think I'm going to take the easy way out. Let's check accessibility options. Mechanisms move automatically. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Oh, but I have to have my cursor over it, otherwise it won't work. I honestly, frankly, love that system. That's so handy. Because that more or less just means that I can... Uh, I can just chill. I can do whatever I want. I don't have to be dragging it left and right. I think it, um... I think this actually makes sense, and eventually there's going to be fully automated versions, but this saves me from a hell of a lot of drudgery. It means I'm way, way more likely to actually process all this stuff, because I was not this smooth. You know, just while I was chilling and doing it myself. So this goes like a thousand times faster. Well. There's a cap out. Yeah, no more room for items. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here and let it process. Oh, cause yeah, otherwise we just have too much wood, and it's gonna take a long time for my bees to go. We'll definitely want to get the uh, the stone bee set up, though. Interestingly enough, they don't actually seem to go for the stone. Like, they don't chew on that. They produce it, but they get it from flowers instead. Which, alright, yeah, it works for me. But mostly I'm just gonna be kinda jamming. I'm getting tired. I Unfortunately, my allergies have been going, like, really bad the last couple days, and so I've just been relentlessly sleepy in the worst possible way. So it's been making it very hard to focus on what work that needs to be done. Okay, what else do we need to do? Let's so move the wood walls over. I don't think I'm going to be expanding any anytime soon for most of this. All right. Oh, I wonder if it'll actually pull from this one too. I'm wondering, it's a game, they're not real trees. Ugh. Only. If only. Okay. Well, keep that in mind. How's this going? It's... Well, it's not gonna do anything for a while, at least. Okay, I'm gonna grab... a lot of this group. Blah, my inventory's full. I should've cleared things out before I started doing this. Uh, let's see. I don't know, man. Yeah, because what do I not need? Everything. I need everything. Hopefully there's a way to in increase backpack space at some point. Basic apiary. Oh, I actually need some of this wood. Let's tear some of this up for a bit and get another one of these out here. All right, cool. Stone B, Stone B. And even though they're about to stop working, I'll at least give them that. I'm assuming the more bees that I have in a hive. Uh, I guess they're out for a while. Oh, and they've run out. At least for a bit. The more bees that I have in the hive, the faster they're going to work. Okay, so we want to do this. Okay. 
Fun fact, you can have multiple inventories open at once and crafting will pull from any inventory. It's actually, oh, that is helpful. Okay, that should be enough glue. We can get the extractor. I'm gonna grab that. Put the floorboards back down. I think we're gonna move these two over here. Just so they're slightly out of my way. All right, one, two, three. And it looks like we just spin the honey out. Neat. I tend to just open all, all my chests when crafting and keep my life easy. I can see why. Oh, and do these, ha they do have a durability. Good to know. Okay, so in that case, yeah, you're right. Move this over. Leave these going. That makes... Okay, this makes a lot of sense. I just move a lot of these. Kind of, sort of. Okay, I don't think I have too much else, but I have this one. Keep it spinning. I, I guess it's time to just juggle inventory space for a hot second. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, move this here. Let's go for a bit. Plunk these back down. Make sure we're not actually wasting any of our activity. This is one hell of a juggling act. But I guess it works. Okay. Uh, let's see. So first and foremost, I guess I should probably put bees in a bee house, maybe. Or maybe we just breed some bees. Uh, Verge Bee, or no, maybe not Verge Bee. Let's do Forest Bee, and this. Let that go for a bit. Okay. And it looks like they will produce. Unfortunately, I don't know... I don't know if they'll actually get a whole lot of work done. Maybe they will. I, I don't entirely know... How much all of this is useful. Okay, so get a bunch of items as well as honey. Fizzy Wizzy. Now that we got now that we have honey, we can start putting it to good use and make some apicola. Oh, so we can make some Make some food and we can also make some money. Which I guess I can just claim. So make some money. Back in town, different people will be interested in buying your wares. Okay, work that out. We also have microscoping. See, dominant and recessive traits of a specific bee also shows any flower trait buffs. Being applied positive or negative, microscoping a species three times will unlock the traits for all bees of that species, and it'll be visible in the tooltip. Oh, well, that's useful. Okay, don't think extra bees have more production, so you should be fine. So what's the entire point of that lower section, then? Just storage? Yeah, just extra storage. Huh. Well, that's fair. Okay. Clear this out. Grabbed a lot of this. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you do not have a whole lot of frames in you. You got two. You're full. Okay. Wait. There was a full one. Oh, what? Why the heck did that end up there? I, you know what? Ain't questioning it. But I'm gonna need a lot more of these frames.
I guess... No, why are you going there? I... The shift clicking in this gets really, really wonky if you have too many things open at once. Uh huh. Okay, let's sort. Let's sort th some things over. Give me some inventory space. Guess I'll take the queens back. Uh. Gosh, anything else to work with? Some of these. Wait, didn't I... Don't I have a couple of small crates here? Yes. I'm gonna go put the small crates out down here. Not nearly as much inventory space. However, that kind of suits my purposes. What are these? Goldenrod seeds. Beekeeper's Delight seeds. Yeah, I don't think I need a whole lot of those yet. I'm just gonna put that there. Circle icon shows you which one you're going to be sending them to. That makes sense. Oh, and we also have just tanks worth of honey. Alright. I'm just going to start storing some of this in the honey tank and the resin barrel. At some point I'll have to make sure that they're, you know, separate and distinct objects. But there we go. Alright. So you're asleep, can't do anything. You're going, but full up. I see, and I was waiting for another one. Well, I, I guess what I need to do is make some more of these. I need more just honeycomb. Oh, uh, shoot. I don't get honeycomb from the... I don't get honeycomb from my, my apiaries, do I? Oh, that's a rough... Oh, that's a bit rough. Maybe there's a way to get more. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well... Oh! We have discovered... Let's see, learn more. The verdant bee. They're lost. Fill frames. Using this species to learn more. Okay, well... I don't have any more verdant bees. So in retrospect, let's pull this one back. I have another forest bee. So if I take one of these spares, toss it over here. There we go. Oh, I need to paint some things. And yeah, if I do not have enough frames, this is wasted, apparently. Not that it really matters. Okay. Oops, you ain't it. There we go. Let's get those going, but I'm probably going to run out a bunch. Yeah, I left a bunch of natural hives but between my home home and town that I collect and refresh on trips to buy things. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Nope. Move this here. Move this here. There we go. Ki kind of. I like the fact that you can have... Sorry. Bleh. I was rough. I like the fact that you can have multiple of these open at a time. But it is really fiddly trying to move things around. And I, I get why it's fiddly. Because without being properly informed, how would it, how would it know? It throws me the heck off constantly. Wait, 
Wait, Force Common Queen Hybrid. Oh, shoot. Did I... Or no, here's the Verdant... Verdant Bee. Okay, that's probably fine. Uh... There we go. Move these over. Guess this is done. But it's okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna let that spin down. Well, I would love to be able to, uh... I'd love to be able to track all of these and multitask. I think it's almost just better. That sometimes I realize that I'm I'm tapped out. And just do it one at a time instead. Either way, this is an incredibly chill game. It def it it definitely has some like fairly wild different ways that you can kind of approach it. I well, maybe not quite that, but it it's definitely the kind where the efficiency of your actions probably matters a fair bit. Uh but I do find myself feeling more than a little overwhelmed tr just trying to get through it all. all right, there's another Verdant Bee. Grab these. Yeah, so I should probably just start stacking as many of those bees as possible. Can I make more bee boxes? Yeah. Y y no. That'll take some work. All right, so let's leave that. Let's kind of take a look at this and see what she produces. And we also have a bunch of stone bees and some other things. Ah, uh, I don't think it's too bad, but I see where you're coming from. It's not too bad, but it's definitely one of those where uh, it's the end of the day and my head is uh, in the clouds. And so having to juggle all of these, I'm just like, just shift click, go to where I need you to go. And then it ends up something somewhere completely different and then I'm gone. I don't like the fact that sometimes I'll like try and drag it over to another menu because the menus will overlap and so when I try and drag it over it just like pop um, pops up the wrong window and I'm like I don't care about you. What are you doing? I don't know. It's a me thing. Uh, mostly just in regards to it being the end of the night and me being fairly tired. rather than truly the game's fault. Some pipes would go a very long way, I would say. No, go away. There we go. Being able to pipe resources from one to the next or like have an inserter arm, as silly as that sounds, uh, would be kind of huge. Okay. Go back here. Pop these over. Don't think I need to worry about the rest of that. Yeah, there are automatic machines. Oh, and there are... There's a developer-endorsed mod for hoppers. Neat. Let's... Have this go. Let's see, is this gonna break? Yes, it did. We get goldenrod seeds, beeswax, and a waxy pearl. All right. Uh, let's see. Other question is, oh boy, I'm going to need a lot of that. All right. Well, either way, I think I'm going to be stopping, uh, at least for now. Uh, this is frying my brain, and it's been a long day, at least for me. Let's take a look at some of these. Yeah, there's, there's so much to manage that I probably should manage harder and better and faster and stronger. Uh, but I will say for the good folks on YouTube and really anybody that hasn't heard of this game before, uh, Epico is available on Steam in, uh, in 1.0. I don't think they're doing early access. Uh, I think they had a kind of long beta period, but it's like done done. There's a decently robust demo too, from what I've heard. And the full game is 20 bucks, which seems very reasonable for the amount of content that I'm seeing here already. Uh, I think it's really charming. I might mess around with this some more if people want me to. But for now at least, I'm going to go let my brain shut off. 
Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.